north to South Africa. East to West Africa. TOS TV Network is your digital first Pan African news network, bringing you news from across the continent. Visit our website www.tostvnetwork.com and follow us on social media at TOS TV Network on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Al Haji Ali Harazmi Umar. My title is Dan Amar of Khan. Currently, I, I, I am the secretary of the Kano Emirate Daba Committee. The history of Daba came from, uh, I think, from India. Uh, it, we are imitating it to just to grace all our occasions since time in, in Maria. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. We are really grateful to Almighty God uh, uh, for His mercy and, uh, you know, what to complete success of the coronation of His Highness, the 15th Emir of Kanu. That is from the Fulani dynasty. And the 56th Emir right from, Hab, from the ruling class of Habe up to the time of Fulani. Now, he is the 15th Emir in the Fulani ruling class who became the Emir of Kanu. Myself, I witnessed uh, about five coronations. I witnessed the coronation of the Royal Highness uh, Sanusi the first. I witnessed the coronation of late Al Haji Inu Abbas. I witnessed the coronation of the Royal Highness Al Haji Ado Bayero. It was back in 1963, the, the father of the current Emir. And, uh, and I witnessed the ruling of uh, Sanusi the second who just recently, he was, uh, he was, he was turbaned and coronated, 2014, I think, it's 2014, yes. That was the, the, the year he was coronated. And then the one which took place just yesterday. <laughs> Large success, you know, is uh, really, it's really success. We thank God that uh, all the people appreciate, and the people of Kano in general. You will, you will see, you will see them. You will be surprised to see how the stadium was full to capacity. All right, 
There is no, even, there so many people were just standing because there is no seat. It, is, it was full to capacity. And we have many, many dignitaries, dignitaries you know, from the federal government, from the state government, uh, from, from all the tra our traditional rulers, from the top, right, from the top up to, up to lower level. Because the Emir Adobayaru was the longest serving Emir in the uh, Fulani ruling clan. We hope this, uh, this our present Emir will, will do the same. We will, will continue praying for the, for the current Emir. Uh, the people of Kano, they have high confidence in him and they are looking forward to, to the current Emir just to be ruling them as his father did. And uh, that is what we are praying. Uh, he will take after his father, good behavior, uh, just Emir, uh, who, who brought a lot of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of things to Kano. <laughs> Kanu Aminu Adobayero, welcome to today's episode of the Osasa Show. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. We attended your coronation and we were very pleased to see the amount of dignitaries that witnessed the occasion. Uh, Kanu was literally jubilating with the coronation of yourself. Can you talk to me more about what that meant for you and what you intend to leave behind as your legacy during this tenor? Awazu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim sallallahu ala nabiyil karim I thank you for being part of the crowd yesterday I appreciate uh, all the media people who were around who are considered my brothers and sisters taking into consideration I was once a journalist so I still remain one at the background well First and foremost, uh, I must thank Almighty Allah for the crowd that witnessed my coronation. I must confess, I was overwhelmed. And I must also confess, it's not because I'm somebody special. It is just by God's grace. And maybe the blessing of our ancestors who have worked tirelessly for the country and for the state. Uh, so the only thing I say is like, uh, I thank Allah for making me to be part of the royal family, not necessarily because I'm better than anybody, but because that is his will. And out of the royal family, he made me the Emir, not because I'm better than any other person in the family, but because that is his will. So my prayer is, uh, I will live up to that expectation. Uh, I'm happy in the sense that uh, it shows there is still unity of purpose in this country. And we pray functions like this will continue to bring people closer so that we know how we can unite to make this country greater. And uh, we thank uh, the president, the vice president, and every other person who was here, the governors, the traditional rulers. Like I said, it is not because of me. It is because of the position I'm occupying uh, is very important and the contributions of my four BRS or my forefathers who have contributed really in one way or the other to the development of Nigeria at large. Your, your Highness, you talked about uh, your background as a journalist and I would like to know how that would influence the legacy you would like to leave behind. Well, when it comes to journalism, I've always loved the profession right from day one and uh, I succeeded in getting into the mass communication department where I graduated from Bayer University, Kano. 
and my my objective in the in the profession of journalism is to to be fair to the society to the leaders and to the lead uh, journalism is looked at from different perspectives but as far as i'm concerned when you talk of journalism you are talking of somebody who go into incisive investigation and tell the people what is actually the reality and not somebody sitting down in one corner and writing a story about another corner which at the end of the day may turn out to be wrong uh, but i will always remind my colleagues to be fair and just in their reporting and in whatever they do let us take the positive aspect of life before the negative side of it actually they go together but we always prepare you know talking about the positive things which are more and i believe it will benefit the society more and like you said when it comes to legacy well i think i've done my bit i've tried the one i can before i left the profession into the institution where i was born but they still go hand in hand because wherever i see a journalist i look at him as my brother or as my sister uh, the legacy i leave is uh, to be open to all of them to tell them the truth to advise them as a retired journalist and uh, to try as much as i can to encourage the profession not only in kano but in the country at large but let us teach positivity not negativity i think it will help us a lot i totally agree so how do you intend to entrench those values as your role as in your role as ema the role the values of fairness the values of unity as you said your brothers and sisters from across the country the southeast the southwest the north uh, east everyone gathered together not central gathered together to celebrate you yesterday so um in your capacity as ema how do you intend to unite you know everybody and not just the people of kano because everyone is looking up to your um your your royal seat and your your position of power so how do you intend to unite people and entrench the values of fairness equity and justice for both women and men i think i've started that already in my one year of reign as an emir of kano i went to almost all the states of the federation from the east to the south and of course in the north I went round and if I go there I don't only see the traditional rulers I see the political leaders and I have meeting with the something like a town hall meeting with the indigenous there we rub our minds and I keep telling them that uh, if god wanted everybody to be a house of man or a christian nothing would stop him from doing that but the fact that he created that differently some christians some muslim sons that some don't even have a religion some houses some ibas some yorubas and every other tribe there it means there is a wisdom in that so let us look at our differences and see how we can put them together and uh, make progress in the nation i think the first step was to go around which i did in my first year and i think i will continue to consolidate but the most important thing is like uh, all the people i am meeting and share ideas together it's like everybody have this common belief that Nigeria can be great if we are united and see how we can make things happen. Uh, Nigeria is a great country and I'm sure we can make it greater if we unite together. Like I said, there must be differences. You can't say the differences are not there. But I believe the similarities are more. So if we can if we can bounce on the similarities which are more, I'm sure the differences will be a matter of time. We can always solve it. but not that it will not be there it will be there but let's manage it so i think uh, like i said the tower was the first step after this coronation and maybe after salah which will be two weeks away from today then i will think of i will continue with my plans which i don't want to say now but i believe there are plans that will help in uniting 
this country and making us progress. That's very profound, Your Highness. Finally, uh, the culture here in Kanu is very rich. It's, um, I'm from Edo State and we also have a very rich culture as well. How do we go about uniting and exporting our culture to sort of um, increase the IGR of our different states and also to export positivity in the image of Nigerians across the world? Yeah, you know, the culture varies and is very diverse. What, what I keep telling people is that culture and tradition are part and parcel of someone's life. Once you lose that, you are losing your identity completely. The culture must be there. The tradition must be there. Time, well, change is inevitable, but you just need to adjust here and there so that things will be better. Uh, but I remember maybe I was younger then when the Festac 77 was hosted here. And everybody believes that that Festac bring a lot of unity within the African nations, uh, the black nation generally. Uh, so if we look at our cultures, virtually the cultures are virtually the same thing. But it's just that the way people understand them are different. So what I would say is like, uh, we should try as much as we can to be keeping in touch with each other culturally and traditionally so that we look at where we think we can merge together and push forward. Like I said, Pestak 77 was long, long time ago, but it is still a coin, not only in Nigeria, but all over the world. So, and uh, I'm happy you're from Edo, you know what the sign of the Pestak was, which shows the culture and tradition of our people in Bini, Bini Kingdom. Uh, so, and everybody accepted it, which means there is not much difference or fight when it comes to culture. Uh, Kanoman didn't say, no, put uh, my tradition at, as a platform. But we all accepted it, not only in Nigeria, but the whole of Africa. So if we can do that at a point in time, I think uh, we can always do it over and over again, because it's the same people, it's the same culture, it's the same tradition, only that you know, time changes. But culture doesn't accept total change because the culture is supposed to be maintained. And like I said, once you lose your culture, you are losing your identity. So I hope uh, through my visits and through my consultations, even yesterday, there are a lot of cultural groups that came with the various kingdoms here and we put them together and we have a little cultural evening, which was really amazing and everybody was happy. Mm. Your Highness, thank you so much for your time. It's my pleasure, and I look forward to seeing more of you. Thank you so much. Inshallah. There are certain moments in the day when I need my me time to just unwind and indulge. What is this? The Cadbury goodness is in every pack of Cadbury 3-in-1 hot chocolate, making you feel cheerful and pleasant. Enjoy the Cadbury goodness. My son has always dreamt of being in the spotlight. As his mother, it is my duty to help him live up to his dream. That's why I give him Born Vita every day, which contains iron, zinc and vitamin C that supports his immunity and gives him the strength to pursue his dreams. Born Vita, strength to dream. North to South Africa. to West Africa. TOS TV Network is your digital first Pan-African news network, bringing you news from across the continent. Visit our website www.tostvnetwork.com and follow us on social media at TOS TV Network on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. As Africans, 
it became clear that we have no one to rely on but ourselves. For the past four years, the Osasu Show Symposium has championed impactful conversations transversing the public and private sector. TOS Symposium in 2017 was themed the new economy and its impact on less privileged citizens. If we want to address poverty, one critical element is infrastructure. The president has also currently approved new railway lines that he has asked us to go and look for loans. If you listen to the speakers, they talked about borrowing, credit, loan. It is our generation that would pay for that. Unfortunately, we the leaders, myself inclusive, have failed this nation and have failed the younger generation. In 2018, the symposium was themed Nigeria Rising. It's time establishing social accountability between the electorate and leaders. What we want in this country, let them do road. They have started. I can see a machine there. The first question is that they privatize. To who? To who? Who did they privatize to? Who's Nigeria? <laughs> to themselves. To themselves. And they're, and they're coming back. Were we not to be a nation of hypocrites, it would have been extremely difficult to tolerate the comments of an ATR legislator PDP, ATR governor of a state PDP, comes to public space, riding on the alleged integrity of just President Muhammadu Buhari, and speaking trash to the PDP. What, what exactly is this? We're being told that the choice you have is to take the lesser of two evils. The common denominator in lesser of two evils is evil. In 2019, the symposium was on the 21st century women and a role in national development. Nigeria have not prospered. And if you look at our trajectory, all the people who have ruled us, not governed, we have never been governed. We have been ruled over the years. Amen. To go beyond what men are prepared to offer, the women must stand toe to toe and say, we have the capacity to make it happen for women. We have been able to make the case that there is no way we can achieve any kind of development without the full and equal participation of women. It's much more fundamental when you support a woman to get elected. But we must ask ourselves, despite the enormity of the work they have done, how come we are still at 6.4% representation for women? As a result of the global pandemic, the 2020 symposium was virtually held and focused on rethinking Africa in a bid to spur the continent's drive for economic growth in a globalized world with a paradigm shift perspective. In the world in which we are, rethinking Africa means that we have to take a second look at Africa's possibilities in the world today. It will start with political will. In the democratic setting, that these people are elected. It is very, very critical that you elect the right person. Africa will be great. And now, we bring to you the fifth edition of the Sasu Show Symposium, themed States of the Nation, the People's Constitution, date August 16, 2021, time 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Venue, the International Conference Center, Abuja. Don't miss it. To register, visit tossymposiumv.eventbrite.com. Follow at TOS TV Network on Instagram, Facebook, and other social media platforms. Visit our website, www.tostvnetwork.com, for more news on sustainable development and current affairs. Mm -hmm.